Welcome to the Ford Monsters Video Podcast, Episode 8. There are two songs by um, two different bands, both from Brooklyn. Uh, the first is Apes and Androids, and the second, Michael Fliss. The name of this episode is The Family Meeting. Break. Good. <laughs> okay. The night our film had its world premiere, a few people from our cast and crew ended up in a van together to go to the after party. I get into the van and it was tense and it was from Brad, Mark, and Cassie. It got pretty intense between me and Brad at one point. We were in the car ride and all of a sudden he started bringing things up. He like got really mad and he was like, well, let's not start cutting each other's dicks off. Andrew suggested we finally confront the problems that were becoming too large to ignore. Something really needs to be done. You can't just like let this be like a festering wound. I called Mark and was demanding to know why he was upset. Susan was inappropriate with me on the phone and extremely abusive. It was not warranted at all. Mark demanded that we call a family meeting. Whenever you're dealing with conflict, you have to get everybody in the same room. I said this over and over and over and over. It was ridiculous, a family fucking meeting because to discuss their fucking actor feelings. Oh, God! We're all down there, all groggy and bleary-eyed. I tried to wake Andrew up a few times because he was snoring so loud, and I just remember that really pissing me off. Andrew wouldn't wake up, and I yelled at Mike to stop shaking him. I slept through it, missed the whole damn thing. And the meeting began. And Cassie begins crackling and choking. And... You, your art is valuable, and it's yours. But also, Brad's art is valuable, and it's Brad's. And Mark's art is valuable, and it's Mark's. My art's valuable, it's mine. We had let people feel that their contributions were special. The style in which you guys collaborate was this sort of threesome. We had engaged in three-way collaborations. You threesomed a lot. So that people would give more freely of themselves. We allowed them to believe these collaborations might continue. Once you had what you needed, you were done. We needed their help. It felt like artistic rape. And we used them. Theft of the heart. And when they demanded we publicly declare a relationship in the form of co-directing credits, it was almost like you guys didn't want to say that you were hiring hookers. We gave them additional direction at the end of the scrolling credits. I wish that you guys would have continued to trust the threesomes. And shut them out of our lives. Pain. And that's why I get so upset. I told you, are you okay? Am I gonna see you again? Are you gonna be my friend? And now I see my friend. And I get really kind of upset when my friend shows up and then disappears. So <laughs> where are you? <laughs> Just tell me. The fact that these relationships weren't as important as the film had caught up to us. I love you, Aaron. I love you and I will protect you till the end if you show that you're trustworthy. And these friendships were over. I started crying. I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Fucking, they make Aaron cry. I just was so upset. The goddamn director of his own movie is being made to cry by his actors because their feelings are hurt. I'm shaking with rage. My whole soul was just like, Aah! Be calm, don't yell. If you yell, you let them win. And I started laying out my case. I think you people are acting like a bunch of fucking amateurs. And Cassie's like, it's okay, Joe. You know, that's why we're here. You know, go ahead and tell us how you really feel. I'm like, this is how I feel. I'm angry, I have rage. Why are you like this? Why are you like this? You touchy feeling. I've never heard someone yell so loud as Joe. Brad goes, you know, Joe, if you ever call me a name again, we're going to take a little walk. And he flips his little orange scarf daintily around his neck. It stopped me dead. Did he just threaten me with violence? Fuck this. We're fucking leaving. It's, yes. it's, it's a given. It's an, understand, it's an understanding that what, where the director's role is and yeah. how it overshadows a lot of right. everything else. And you know they don't I mean? understand. They make, and the directors make all the final decisions. Yeah. Susan and Aaron lived this movie. 24-7 for like 500 days yeah. and, and these people were in there for a couple of months and I appreciate the work they put in don't get me wrong but the, the and shit Aaron that, and Susan appreciate the work yeah. I know they, 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 love, these, they love these they love these guys I know and they're just so frustrated because they don't it's like they've been over backwards to be honest with you I know they backwards. did I know they did those, those credits are highly unusual most detrimental right now is they're sucking 
the, the life away from Susan and Aaron, yeah. who have so much more to do. I think and I'm so, like, stop I, Obviously, I let my emotions get away with me. Well, that <laughs> was there. great. Like, but that I didn't know. I, it, you know? It, it, I, I was unprofessional I there, but not, I, I was... But I think you woke some people up. I don't think I did. They're still... They're, no, all, no, 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 they're no. still in the same ridiculous fantasy world. They heard you. They, they heard you. And, and they, ridiculous. You know, they, they want Amateurs. I still, amateurs. Are you filming this? <laughs> amateurs. Brad, amateur, amateur, hey, amateur. Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 no. No. no they, Look at Dorian's crying because of you people. Are you going to be okay? so right, frustrated. Baby? Are you going to be okay? It's okay. It's frustrating. I, I, I just don't understand people who like, can't very just be happy to be like part of a beautiful project. I like, know. I guess I'm just an idealistic person. But like when I involve myself in something that I think is artistic merit, I don't care if nobody ever sees my name. <laughs> Yeah. See, it's my face. Like, it's not about that. If you're in it for that, you're going to be a miserable person. Well, yeah. Because you never, ever, people never understand what goes into a process to make something. Yeah. They will never know about, like, the nights I was on the subway at 4 o'clock in the morning running hard drives back and forth. But I don't care. Yeah. That's not why I was doing it. Yeah, it's not about. It's not about. Then, like, the little's my like. They're a bunch of selfish bastards, and and right. And, like, Are you filming this? Is this on tape? <laughs> yes. Oh, I, fuck. No, don't worry. Yeah, we'll, no we'll, one's gonna see. It. Don't Except worry. me. I'm the one who vlogs and captures all this crap. <laughs> Thank you for the ride. How's it guys? Everything I learn about the you. The hyoid arch that spans across the sky A cause effect begins I was sick of everything. Sick of the film. Sick of promoting the film. Sick of Aaron. Sick of the fucking actors. Sick of my life. I was hanging out at a party, and I noticed this guy, and he came over to me, and we started talking. I felt that he was seeing a brand new person when he looked at me. He didn't see somebody who had just wasted a year of their life working on a film that's going nowhere. Someone that crumbled under pressure, had a hard time sticking up for herself. Somebody that didn't work hard enough, didn't have enough creative input, stressed out of her mind about stupid shit involving the actors. He saw a brand new person, and that felt really good. And then Aaron called. I'd met this film industry guy who wanted to talk about finding somebody to distribute our film. And I thought Susan should be there because we're supposed to be doing this together. She actually has to do some work and can't just hide in the corner because she's sad about the stupid actors. I was done with Aaron's schemes and I was positive this industry guy was going to be full of shit. But I felt like I had to do what Aaron was asking me to do. So I was saying goodbye and I really wanted to kiss him. So I fucking did. Oh, 